Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another working executor for Roblox. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video where I've shown you how you can bypass the latest version of Bifron, then go ahead and do that first before you come back to this video, because in this video, I'm just going to be explaining how you can download the executor and use it with the bypass. So without any further delays, let's get into the video. Now, the very first thing that you need to do always before downloading an executor is, of course, to turn off your real-time protection. So go ahead and search that, go into manage settings and turn off the real-time protection. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now, make sure it's turned off. Once you do that, go into the first link in the description and I have made the download steps easier as well. Once you do go into the link, it will take you to this website right here. From there, go ahead and complete the steps and that will take you to the Fluxus download. From there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to install it and click save. Once you do that, go ahead and open up the download manager that you've just installed and click on yes. And that will start the download manager for you. From there, go ahead and click on next and it will give you a couple of offers. It's completely up to you if you want to take these. If you want to take them, click accept. Otherwise, you can click decline. And once you do that, you can go ahead and complete that and copy the link that it gives you. Once you've copied the link, take it back into your browser and paste the link. And once you paste it, choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop once again, and that should download the Fluxus application for you. Now, depending on the browser that you're using, your Fluxus download might get blocked. If it does get blocked by your browser, go ahead and hold down Ctrl and press J, and that will open up your downloads folder. From here, you will have an option to click on save anyway, and you will be able to download the file. It doesn't have any viruses, so you don't have anything to worry about. Once you do have Fluxus downloaded, go ahead and right click it and click on extract all and click extract and that will create a new Fluxus folder for you. For now, go ahead and close out of that and you can also delete the previous two files that you downloaded. So now you should have this Fluxus folder downloaded and if you go inside it, you should see the Fluxus application. Once again, don't open that for now. Go ahead and close out of it and go back into your virus and threat protection. From here, go ahead and scroll down until you see add or remove exclusions. Go ahead and click that. And then go ahead and click on add an exclusion and choose folder. From there, go ahead and single click the Fluxus folder and click select folder. Then go back and you can now turn on your real-time protection if you wish to do that. Now at this point, you can go into the Fluxus application and you can also launch it. So if you do get this error right here, go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. From there, go ahead and click on yes and that will launch the application for you. Then go ahead and click on next. From here, go ahead and choose the top option and it will start downloading Fluxus for you. Once it does install, it will automatically open. And there we go. And if it's your first time using the executor, it will also ask you to generate a key. If you don't know how to generate the key, you can watch my previous videos where I have explained how you can get the Fluxus key. So once you have Fluxus set up and you've also entered the key, you can now close out of Fluxus and open the Microsoft Store. Once again, if you haven't seen my bypass video, I would recommend doing that now. So at this point, you can now open the bypass tool and once it does fully open, you can now go ahead and open up Fluxus as well. And to open Fluxus, when you do go into the Fluxus folder, make sure you don't open up the download manager again. Just go into the new Fluxus folder and you can open up Fluxus from right here. All right, and here we go. So let's go ahead and load into Roblox. I think I do have auto attach on as well. I don't. Okay, that's good. So once you do fully load into Roblox, you can go ahead and click on inject and that will inject into the Roblox application. At this point, you can load into any game. So let's go ahead and load into this and grab a script that you want to use. All right, and here we go. So we just loaded into the game. We have already injected. Let's go ahead and click on run script. And as you can see, the script is running just like that. Now, if you guys are struggling with the download, then feel free to join my Discord server, which will be linked down below. And you can ask me any questions you have over there. Now, with that being said, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.